This is the Spotlight segment. Stay tuned for premium interviews, device unboxing and more. And now we come to our Spotlight section and I'm very pleased to say it's another unboxing. This time Bernard Hemmings unboxes his new Samsung Galaxy X-Cover 6 Pro. Hi, my name is Bernard Hemmings. Welcome you, you to the unboxing of the Samsung X-Cover 6 Pro. Okay, so I have the box in front of me on the desktop. And I'm about to flip it over so that the box can be opened. So you turn it so that the lid is facing down towards the desktop. And the bottom of the box is pointing towards the ceiling. Okay, so... Now, if you feel the bottom of the box, one end has a rectangular sticker. You want to face this to the right-hand end of the box, so if you need to turn the box around so that the sticker is on the right-hand end. Okay, now, next to that sticker, right in the corner, is one piece of tape. And at the diagonally opposite end, near the other corner, is the other piece of tape on the other side of the box. So you want to run a knife between the box and the lid to cut the tape. If you try and peel the tape off the box, you'll end up damaging the cardboard um, box material. Okay, so we've cut the tape and that separates the box from the lid so turn the box back over and you should just lift the lid straight off okay now you'll find the phone is wrapped in this plastic sheet material to protect it so we take the phone out and turn it over you'll find that the material, um, there is a flap which unfolds like an envelope down one edge of the plastic sheeting. There is a small, uh, similar bit of adhesion at each end of the plastic sheet, but that will come unfolded when you uh, un undo the, the edge to free the phone. And the phone should just slide out of that um, plastic sheeting now, so we can put the plastic sheeting aside. Now, if you feel the phone, the top end of the phone has the earphone socket and what they call the top key, which is one of the programmable keys. To the left-hand side of the phone is the um, X cover key, which again is programmable. Now the bottom edge of the phone has the USB-C socket and beside that it's a speaker. On the other side you have the power key which is a side key which is again reprogrammable and above that we have the two volume keys. Okay, now put the phone down on the desktop with the screen facing down. Be aware there is no screen protection with this phone. My previous s 10 had a factory fitted screen protector. This phone does not. Okay, so now if you locate the camera lenses on the back of the phone and beside the two uh, circles between them almost there is a little square indentation which is the flash and of course your torch or flashlight now if you slide your finger across the back of the phone from that flashlight across to the other edge you will feel a small slot where the back curves slightly to meet the side this slot is to remove the back of the phone and you just lift that slightly with your fingernail that will unclip the back uh, the first catch now you just slide your finger between the back of the phone and the phone itself 
going around down one side along the bottom and it probably at this point it'll pop up otherwise you may have to go uh, up the up the other side a bit but generally once you've undone one side and the the bottom the other two the the other two edges they will the back will just pop off if you grab the back and just pull it once you've uh, undone that little slot you'll probably end up breaking the catches that hold the back in place so i wouldn't do that okay so once you take the the uh, back off you can feel the interior of the phone the battery um, compartment and the sim and uh, sd card slots the SD card is at, at slot is at the top, directly above the SIM card tray. They are both at around about the centre of the battery compartment. That is uh, near the, just uh, back from the top edge of the phone, where the of the battery compartment. Now, before you put the battery in the sim card slot as i say you need to put the sim card into that slot first the you can't insert the sim card with the battery in place so you insert the sim card the contact side is uppermost according to sides of people that have told me that uh, and the bevel corner is towards the top, so that slides into the uh, slot first. Now, if you want to put the SD card in now, you can do so, or you can insert the battery and then uh, put the SIM card in, whatever you prefer to do. Okay, now, so feel in the box and you will feel the square battery. If you remove that from the box and feel it carefully, you will find that the bottom edge of the battery is grooved, and on one side, sorry, the, on one uh, surface of the battery, one of the larger surfaces, we'll call it the top, has a like a circuit board under the cover of the battery. You can feel this square uh, or almost rectangular shape beneath the battery cover. This goes in so that that is uppermost in the phone. So, and on the top edge of the battery, you will feel that it is flat and the contact should be on the right-hand side. So you put the battery into the phone on an angle. So you tip the battery forward as you put it into the battery compartment so that the top edge makes contact first then you lower the bottom edge of the battery in and the battery should just drop into the compartment okay so the battery is in place and you want to insert or put the back back on unless you want to put the sd card in now if you do the SD card goes into the slot. It's very easy. The top, the edge of the SD card um, goes uppermost. So the little lip on the uh, SD card is um, not the end that you put into the SD card slot. That should protrude from the slot. So to make it easy to remove and insert Okay, so slide that SD card in. Now, for the back, you just uh, feel the hole where the camera lens is on the back. You'll notice the hole that goes around the camera. So you put it gently on the phone and you press the edges of the back along each side and you'll hear it click into the to its slots and lock into place. Go around the phone making sure that all the little catches are uh, locked as it were. So you gently put pressure on the back edge 
and go right around the phone until you make sure that the number of catches that the back is in flat against the phone. Okay, so now we come to the the most exciting bit of it, I suppose. So you uh, hold the um, side key in, that is the key below the vol- volume controls, and you also hold the volume up key. So you press both those keys together. After the small, and hold them down. After the small uh, vibration, there will be a few seconds, and then there'll be a much larger um, duration of vibration to tell you, you know, to let you know that you are uh, enabling accessibility. After a while, the talkback um, message should come up telling you to keep holding these keys uh, to until you hear a beep if you want to enable accessibility. So you do that, and then the next thing after the beep, the next thing you should hear is the uh, start of the talkback um menu as it were the the sorry the um the tutor the tutorial and that has five pages so that's really all there is to the unboxing just remember that the the little hole for the back is to open the back is directly opposite the flashlight on the back of the phone uh, so you go across the back to the other side, away from the camera, and just as the back turns to meet the side, you'll feel the fingernail slot. Okay, so that's the end of part one, the unboxing of the phone, and now I'll do a s- small review on the phones, the good points and the bad points. Thanks very much. I hope you found this interesting and helpful. So the X cover, these are Samsung sort of ruggedized uh, offerings, aren't they? Quite popular with uh, folks working outdoors and things like that. They are indeed. And thanks, Bernard, for uh, taking uh, the time to do this. We truly appreciate you um, uh, unboxing this for the podcast. It's a neat little phone. It has a lot of features that people miss on phones, like um, you know the. I think it has the fingerprint reader, the power button. It has customizable buttons. It has a removable battery, um, memory card for storage. It has a uh, headphone jack. So it's a neat little phone. Exactly, and so for. Uh... Uh, you know, a rugged phone, I, I think it has everything. So if you are one of those that kind of uh, dreaming for the good old SD card, this would be the one to go for as well as that head for, uh, headphone. I can't even say the word headphone jack. Uh, you could go for that uh, phone because then it's reminiscent of the old times, isn't it? Yeah. And you'll have slightly more dollars get... left over if you, if you do that than if you go for the uh, Sony Xperia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could yeah, buy two. Exactly, of them. exactly. Yeah. You don't need get to spend all the mula. Yeah, poor boy. I don't think we get this phone in India because I've never even heard of this phone. Yeah, they're used by. Um, I don't know if you remember back in episodes. I think it was in the sixties. We had Brendan Lewis and Sharon Jovanazzo on talking about uh, in your pocket the uh, you know the uh, reading newspapers and and books and stuff on a modified phone and they used the x cover albeit not the six i think i think when we talked to them it was either four or the five uh so they 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 used them for that because it's a excuse me uh they use it for that because it's a fairly simple uh rugged phone which is not a simple phone it's a good phone but um you know it can it can stand a bit of a bit of stuff so it probably seemed a good candidate phone to use